Welcome back foodies, Leo here, full-time foodie. Let's put in overtime this week. A bit unorthodox, but I'm actually taking shelter here <laughs> at a toy store. I'm headed to the spot behind me. It's called IMC, Imperial Meat Company, and they have a $50 dry age porterhouse on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Let's go see if they're valid. Do you want to be in the show? All right, we can put you in it. <laughs> Check out this bar right here. I love the decor, the dining area. Hey man, you said the, you mentioned the porterhouse for two, is that $50 per person? No, it's $50 no? for two. For the oh, two? Okay. Oh, okay. So it's a portion for two. Really good deal, yeah. All right, so we're gonna do we're ready? that. Yeah, okay. we're ready. Uh, we're gonna do the roasted bone marrow for the appetizer. Nice. Okay. And then the porterhouse for two. All right, we'll do the lobster mac, yeah. Anything else? And uh, order uh, also the shrimp risotto. Risotto. Yeah. With the main course, correct? Yeah. yeah. We're bringing that together. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna start with the roasted bone marrow, porterhouse for two, medium, salad, mac and cheese, and a shrimp risotto for the gentleman. Yeah. Sorry. We're sharing everything, correct? Yeah. Yeah. We're sharing everything. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, anything else? We're good. <laughs> uh, that's it for now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can I hang on to one? Yeah, I'll talk about it later. All right. So we're inside Imperial Meat Company in Huntington, New York. It's super fucking rainy outside, like crazy ass rain, like almost Florida rain, I think, almost. Not quite there yet, you know. But uh, as we were walking in here, the manager mentioned to me that um, their restaurant owns, or I think it's their meat company, a meat company owns the restaurant, and it's called Imperial Meat Company, and that's why the restaurant is called by the same name. So they don't outsource their uh, meat or their butchering or anything to any third party. It's all done in-house, right here in Huntington, New York. Let's take a look at the menu real quick. Let me show you what we're about to order. So here we go, this is their offerings here. Land, uh, we order one thing from this side of the menu. They even sell uh, Wagyu beef here as well. Skirt steak, sirloin. Uh, we did order the shrimp risotto, so we got that. Should be good. And we got the lobster mac and cheese, pretty good. And one more thing from the starters here. Let's go down a little bit. We got here the roasted bone marrow. That should be really good too. What else they got? They got the raw bar, salads. And where, where, uh, oh, here it is. So we got the porterhouse steak for two. 28 day dry age served slice. Normally $110, but on Wednesdays and Thursdays, it's only $50. And it's $50 for the steak for two, not per person. Either. So that is a really tremendous deal. And let's see if it's valid. I think I dropped the fork. It's a fancy place. I got like four forks and three knives. I don't know what to do with all this stuff. I only have two hands. <laughs> this is the unsweetened tea. Let's see how it is. Actually, it tastes a little bit sweetened, but just enough that I'm gonna enjoy it. So, not bad, even though it's not unsweetened tea. But that's the reason why I don't get sweet tea is because it's overly sweet. So, what are you gonna do? Let's try one of these uh, bread rolls here. This is what it looks like. Bread basket. And uh, it looks like salt, olive oil, and butter. All right, let me use one of the four knives that they gave me here. I think I'm using the wrong one. I think this is uh, for the butter. All right, I think I did as good as I could. Wow. Wait. Kind of tastes like a... Uh, those Hawaiian sweet rolls, a little bit like that. Pretty good, the butter always helps too. We got here the roasted bone marrow. What do you guys think, how's it look? I didn't know, it looks like it has some kind of a crust on there. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know if they mentioned that in the menu. Curious, curious to see how it tastes. Oh yeah, it's hot, it is hot. Freshly roasted, I guess. Or maybe they keep it uh, on like a, a low heat in the oven and they roast it all day probably. I don't know. 
they could be roasting it overnight. All right, so you're supposed to like um, put it on the bread, kind of like butter. All right, let's see. Yeah, the breading kind of falls off, right? It looks like breading. Nice little piece here. Let's try it out first by itself, and I'm gonna try it with the bread after. Cheers. Wow. There you go. It's like melts in your mouth though. It's like it's like super fatty, super rich. I like the breadcrumbs actually. It gives it a little bit of crunch. Almost kind of tastes like the fat of a ribeye. Kind of like that. Oh, this is amazing, man. Excellent. Incredible. So, tell me about your, what are your hosting it So, uh, I do, uh, yeah, food reviews on YouTube. It's a channel, it's called Hungry Polar Bear. Okay. No spaces. Nice, do you have a, yeah. um, Instagram account? Uh, yeah, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. You find Perfect. me everywhere. <laughs> so let me know what's your account and everything. You can follow us as well. We can yeah. collaborate uh, each other. Yeah, like I said, I found you guys because I was looking at uh, steakhouses in Long Island. And you guys were recommended as one of the best. And then I saw somebody else commented and said, Wednesdays, they got $50 porterhouse. Yes. So then I said, it's Wednesday. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So it's a pleasure to have you tonight. To meet you, man. My name is Caesar. Uh huh. So you want to say a few words here? I have a few. Oh, yes. Yeah. We want to have you enjoy first later. and then do your experience. Mm -hmm. And thank you for joining us tonight. All right. No problem. Good right. to meet you. Good. All right. Take care. Very nice. Yeah, the manager came around, said hello. He asked me what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Basically, in a nice way. And uh, so let's see, he's curious to know how our experience is tonight. Wow. I got this whole thing, look. I, it kind of looks like just fat, right? Oh, wow. It's, it's super rich though. I was kind of thinking uh, I need a little acidity here. And here we are, we have some uh, pickled onions, I think, and pickles themselves, making a guest appearance. All right, so I didn't realize there are some pickled onions. And I feel like it needs a little bit of it. It just feels super rich. More than olive oil, it's... Okay. Mm. That was much better. Much better with the pickled onion. Mm -hmm. I love those pickled onions, man. Pickled onions make it an 11 out of 10 for me. Mm. I was feeling like a really rich, kind of like overpowering. You need some acidity. There's a reason they, they provide that on the plate. The chef, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> the pickles are good? Let me get one. They're small, super small pickles. <laughs> I'm Pickle Rick! Overall, I don't know, I never had a, I never had one before, so what am I gonna rate it? Let's give it a nine out of 10. I don't know if there are better ones out there, so I don't wanna just say, this is, you know, this is the only one I had and this is the best one. So let's, let's start it off at nine and see how we go. Uh, all right, check this out. This is their version coconut toasted martini, right? Virgin coconut toasted martini. Looks really nice. They don't have blenders here, apparently at the bar. So if you do visit, make sure you bring a blender. I told them to bring a blender, man. Nice. If they stop. <laughs> what do you rate it? Nine? Yeah. All right, so it looks like the, what was it? Toasted coconut. Not sweet at all? Yeah, it's good. It's perfect. It sounds like nine out of ten. It got. <laughs> oh wow, wow, wow! Oh, what is this? Oh, we didn't order this. I think. What's that? Oh, on the house. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. Baking and the wagyu meatballs. And the wagyu beef balls. Wagyu meatballs. Wagyu meatballs. And this is barbecue bacon. Barbecue bacon. Thick cut. All right. Thank you very much. Wow. 
All right, so the manager sent us some appetizers to try out. Maybe he wants to know our thoughts on it. Let's see. Maybe? That sounds like a, a good way to do business when a food critic visits your restaurant. <laughs> Ask for his opinion on the food. All right, so this is the Wagyu meatballs. Meatballs, I should say. Looks like, is that cilantro on top? I think so. Some kind of sauce, crispy onions. And this is their thick cut barbecue bacon. All right, so they're trying to bribe me here, but we gotta keep it honest, all right? I'm gonna tell you if they're good or not. We're gonna tell you if they're valid. Let's, let's start with, uh, all right, let's start with the meatballs first. What is this? This is uh, something on the side here. And uh, a little cilantro and crisp. I have no idea what this is on the side of it. And when I see food I don't know what it is, I get very, very curious about it. And it's this, I'd like to see it under the light. Okay, I think it's like a, maybe a radish? I don't really know. I don't really know. We got the cilantro. All right, let's dig in here. All right. Man, somebody's birthday. Happy birthday to them. They're sitting right next to us. <laughs> I guess we're celebrating their birthday today. <laughs> but I, I need to try the beef meatballs before they get cold. Mm. Wow. So much flavor in there. He said it was Wagyu meatballs. Let's see, it's hard to, it's very tender, I have to say. It's almost like fall apart. Almost like fall apart, it's incredible. Wow, that's incredible. I don't even, I don't think I've ever tasted anything like it. It's hard to describe it. It's got crispy onions, salty and savory. It's got some kind of sauce on it. Uh, I do love that the cilantro on there and that uh, pink thing that I showed I don't really know what it is I'm gonna try it by itself Tastes some like some kind of radish pickled radish I don't think I've ever had a meatball this tender Very tender. super tender right almost like a like a Vietnamese kind of flavor. Like a banh mi kind of. Almost something like that. I wonder if it's like some kind of South Asian. Asian. Yeah, like South Asian inspired. Yeah. As I was savoring the cilantro, I kind of felt sort of reminded of those flavors. That's the best way to describe it. You never had a thick pork belly? Interesting. Hmm. Let's see, I'm excited to try it. Let me, uh, I feel like I need to cleanse my palate. A little water, a little unsweetened tea. <laughs> this is my piece here. All right, so it looks like they only char it on one side. I don't know if that's on purpose. Oh, it looks a little bit smoked on this side. And here it looks charred. Let's try it out. And they give you some more of the pickled onion. Cheers. Wow. Wow, all that. all that fat just melts on your tongue. It's incredible. That's one of the best, I think, pork belly, thick bacon slices I've ever had, I think. I'm gonna give that one an 11 out of 10. And the beef meatballs, nine out of 10. It's a little bit smoky, but it just, it, like, it coats your whole tongue, it's like, I don't know, it's almost like, like a foodie high, you know? That's how you feel, right? It gives you like a foodie high, it just coats your palate and, and it takes you to heaven. <laughs> I don't even want the steak anymore. <laughs> wow. Mm. Mm. Wow. That is better than the roasted bone, bone, bone. 
bone marrow. It's better. It has way more flavor. Absolutely. Yeah. Slightly sweet. They really don't put too much barbecue in it. I thought it was going to be like a super sweet thing, but it's not. I come back and I only go back for the 11 out of 10s. Pork belly, right? What is it? Yeah, pork belly. But they call it a thick cut bacon sometimes or, but it's the same thing. It, well, even the thin bacon is pork belly, so whatever. The chef is smart over here. Yeah, he knows. He understands balance of texture is important. Balance and say it cannot all be mushy. There's got to be some crunch to it. it. Can't all be fatty. There's got to be some acidity with it. So, man, they got a great chef here. We got to take him home. <laughs> we got to take him. We got to take him down to Orlando. All right. Wow, man. Look at all this. Crazy. This is uh, the shrimp risotto. It looks good. Let's see. But this is why you're here. It's the porterhouse for two. Slice for you. I see some medium well, some medium, and some medium rare. It mixed in. We did ask for all uh, medium, but uh, that's the best they can do. And then we got the lobster mac and cheese right here. Wow. See those pieces of lobster. We'll dig in. Let's see how big the chunks are. Uh, chef recommends first. Uh -huh. so grab this little brush. It was made one time. Okay. Put it into the sauce and then uh -huh. brush it. Like if we were painting, all over the stuff. Oh, okay. So, so brush it. Twenty-four. Okay. So it's gonna be the New York trip. The shortest wow. part is left to leave young right now. Okay. Wow. Wow, that looks great. Okay. Okay, that looks amazing. You see the peppercorns on there? Nice. All right? Oh. All right, perfect. All right. All right, wow. Okay, so we were brushing the... Is this rosemary and thyme? Yeah, rosemary and thyme. Into the demi-glaze. Pouring it all over. So sort of brushing it, right? That's the chef intention. All right. Time to eat. The risotto? Five out of ten in the risotto? Let me finish with the steak. What do, you, what do you think of the steak? It is a good steak. I think the first one I got was more like uh, medium well, closer to well done. So I didn't like it. Next one I got looked more like a good medium, and this one was delicious. As far as dry aged steak goes, I've had better. It's still pretty good. Um, and the place that comes to mind is the Michelin Star Korean Steakhouse in, this, in uh, Manhattan, Coat. They have one of the best dry aged ribeyes you're ever gonna taste in your life. But this is a, a lean cut of meat. This is a T-bone, so you got the sirloin and the filet. Let me, uh, let me actually try a little bit of the filet. See how that is. Filet. Mmm. Wow. Okay. The filet. The filet is uh, <laughs> an 11 out of 10. Sirloin. I think sirloin's good at 9. Mmm. Alright, got myself a little bit of risotto here. There's some cut up shrimp everywhere, I can see. And also big pieces of shrimp too. It's got a good bite. How about this? What do you think? Looks good? Cheers. I kind of like it. It's very heavy on white wine though. I think there's white wine in here. I feel like there's not enough flavor. Yeah? Very bland for me. Hmm. This is good. Somewhat herby, but you're right. There's not like a particular flavor. Is it wine or beer in there? I taste one of, one of them. I don't know which one it is in the risotto. I'm going to give it a 7.5, I think. I haven't had better yet, but I will. <laughs> All right, so this is the lobster mac and cheese. It looks like we got two lobster claws. Let's try it out. Mac and cheese. Mm. Wow. That uh, combination of cheeses is really delicious. Right? Really delicious. It's kind of like age. Yeah. It's kind of like, tastes like an A's cheese. cheese. I taste the cheddar. Three, yeah. Cheddar. Okay. 
I think Gouda also a little bit of it. Gouda, maybe. Because it tastes a little bit smoky, kind of, there or like you go. something yeah, aged, like right? There you go. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, man. It is good. Wow. It's good. We should have just gotten the lobster mac and cheese. <laughs> One each. Cheese with lobster? Actually, it tastes really good. Very creamy. Mmm. Is there bacon in here? I think so. Mm. I smell something. That's why I said the Gouda cheese, because mo it tastes smoky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does taste smoky. Yeah. I, maybe a bacon. I see like little, 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 little pieces in here. No, I see why you're saying the shrimp down. is bland. I don't feel like flavor. Mm -hmm. Flavor. I have better. It's just the shrimp itself. Yeah. And risotto kind of just tastes like wine. The demi glaze on the steak. Let me show you. Right here. Still raining out there. So last time I was standing here in Huntington was probably at the Starbucks. I lived here for almost 10 years, I think. I see they got a new uh, Kiyu Ramen. They got the Hatch, the brunch restaurant that I never went to because I thought it was overpriced for eggs. <laughs> Movie theater back that way. But we're on Main Street again. I think overall it was a nine for me. I would say, yeah. Because... I, I think I would give them the nine. You, and the service was good, so yeah. we That was like the best service. Oh, the hydrant! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the, the best service I ever got. They even came by, I think they're going for a Michelin star. They came by and cleaned our table. Cleaning up the table there, that's crazy, isn't it? I've only seen that once at another place, at a Bobby Flay's restaurant in the city. They do that. Look at this new spot over here. Look at this mural. Damn. I'm just standing here in the middle of the road. <laughs> Near Hatch, look at this. Wow, look at this mural. It is the year of the dragon too. Let me take a, take a selfie here. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you guys next time. Make sure you visit Imperial Meat Company. The food is actually really good. We had a great time. <laughs>